Well, our last call tonight goes to causes that matter. As the pandemic persists and stimulus aid dwindles down, more and more businesses are being forced to shut their doors, some for good. Reports are showing that the hospitality industry, which has suffered some of the most severe economic hardships, still has a long road ahead as far as recovery. With winter on the horizon, restaurants forced outdoors amid the pandemic will soon be out of options in colder states that are still not allowing full capacity when it comes to indoor dining. This comes as a CNBC article from September shows that the restaurant industry has lost billions amid the ongoing public health crisis. That article reads, quote, data from the National Restaurant Association outlines how hard the industry has been hit by the pandemic, with an estimated $165 billion in sales lost from March through July and more than 8 million workers either furloughed or laid off at the peak of the outbreak. With all the challenges thrown at the hospitality industry this year, miraculously, some businesses are still finding ways to give back and serve their communities. One such business owner acting out of generosity during these unprecedented times is Mike Hess of Mike Hess Brewing, who's raising money for childhood cancer research with his Rising Hope IPA. Mike, it's really good to have you in studio and really break down what exactly your organization is doing because it's so important and it's such a good cause. So I wanna let you explain to our viewers, what is it that you guys are doing? Thanks, uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity. Um, you know, when my wife Linda and I f started the brewery 11 years ago, we wanted to be a brewery with a bigger purpose than just making great beer. I feel that all breweries should be doing that just generally out of hand. But our purpose statement of, of bringing people together over great beer around great causes um, has really focused in the last couple of years on pediatric cancer. Our daughter, Keely, who was uh, 12 when she was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, now 14 and now about a year and a half in remission, um, has really, you know, brought us uh, to bear on that and brought the the need for funding for pediatric cancer research to light. We found out that only 4% of the entire federal budget goes to all pediatric cancer types, of all the monies that are allocated. And so for the last two years, um, we have been focusing on that cause. And this year we partnered up again with the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation out of uh, Florida to do this beer, Rising Hope. It's a national effort. We're the brewery that represents California but we took it to another level, asked to do 10 barrels. We've done 200 barrels of this beer and we're selling it um, in package uh, in, the, in the San Diego marketplace here to raise $30,000 for uh, cancer research. I mean, that's phenomenal. And, and uh, we have one of the cans right here. We were showing it uh, also in the visuals right there on the side. But mm -hmm. I mean, it's a cool logo. And on the back, too, you were telling me that there's other participants, too, who are helping make this all possible. And I know that this year has been difficult for a lot of people in the hospitality industry. But when it comes to this cause as well, you've told me that over the past couple of months and even years, you've been taking part in other causes and philanthropic work. But when it comes to this as well, has it been affected at all by the coronavirus? Uh, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, our business, uh, we shut down in March, in the middle of March, we furloughed almost our entire team. We kept the production staff on and some of the sales uh, folks um, and because we didn't know how it was going to shake out. But thankfully, you know, we realized we have some enterprise flexibility. We pivoted into hand sanitizer, actually, and by the third week of March, we'd rehired almost our entire crew. We started making Mike's Mist. Um, we donated, uh, we actually set that up so we donated 19% of our gross sales also to pediatric cancer research. So through the sales of Mike's Mist in March, April, and May, we raised um, uh, $30,000 also, $15,000 for two charities, MIB Agents, and also, again, the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's really allowed us to stay mission true and, and put people back to work back in the early days of COVID. Of course, since then, we've been open uh, with reduced capacity. Uh, thankfully, some of our facilities like our Imperial Beach Beer Garden and uh, North Park in the city of San Diego has allowed us to be outside. And so that's helped out quite a bit. And so we've been able to uh, get back to work since around uh, Memorial Day weekend, but it's been tough for sure. Yeah, I'm sure. And I know that you're not the only business owner who's feeling that way, but it's uh, an added dimension, too, when you're raising money for other causes as well. It's not just necessarily focusing on your business model or anything like that. So I understand right. that there is another degree of complication to some degree. So I know that people can, I'm assuming, help out your cause by buying the beer, once again, Rising Hope. But is there anything else that people can do to really get involved or assist you in any way? Because this is a, such an important cause that I feel like, as you were saying, goes under address. The fact that only 4% of our budget goes to something like this. What else can other people do? Well, so there's 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 a really one uh, great way to do it. It's just when people are thinking of their own philanthropy and how they want to uh, help out causes. Uh, hopefully, Rising Hope is something that reminds them of the need for funding for pediatric cancer research. Uh, we did package the beer. We partnered up, as you mentioned, with a, a lot of the companies that donated ingredients and, and the packaging and uh, fruit and things like that that we put into the beer. 
We also have a great working relationship with Costco, and when my uh, brother Greg talked to them about doing it, they immediately uh, jumped on it. So we're selling the 1,500 cases that we packaged through Costco here in San Diego. They can go buy it. But to be clear, we're just donating the money straight out. People can buy it and drink it and enjoy it. But if they really want to participate, they can text the word BREW to 50155, and that'll get them a link that they can donate directly to the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation and make their own contribution. I mean, that's phenomenal right there. And once again, for our viewers, too, it's brew to 50155. That's how you right. can get involved right there. Uh, do you have a website or anything, too, that we can plug right now so they can get more information? Absolutely. Or if, if they go to just www.mikehessbrewing.com, it's right on our front page. It's the featured beer on there. It's got the links to all the donations. And, and of course, there's a beer finder on there so they can find which Costco near them has the beer. And also where we're selling it retail on draft and six packs in our tasting rooms as well. I mean... Once again, I can't thank you enough for what you're doing because this is such an important issue that is going underlooked right now, and you don't have to be doing this. I mean, there are a lot of people around the world right now who are focusing just on the problems that are at their front door, and right. I really appreciate you really extending this effort to a cause that I know affects so many people. I mean, it's affected your family, as you were just saying, but cancer is something, too, that it affects so many families around the country, and everybody wants to combat it in some way. So once again, That's for right. our viewers, it's Rising Hope IPA. It's right here. You can find it at Costco everywhere that Mike was just saying. Mike Hess, I really appreciate you coming on the program today. Thank you thank so you. much. I appreciate it. And that's going to do it for this edition of After Hours. Feel free to reach out to us on social media with any questions or comments at Alex Salvi News. You can also email us by going to the website at the bottom of the page right there. If you have any complaints about the show, how does a Jewish man make beer? Hebrew. Horrible joke. I'm Alex Salvi. We'll be back here Monday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. In the meantime, have a great night, and thank you for watching.